The Knicks showed some big Nick energy last night when they stormed back from a 19-point hole to post their fourth straight win. They beat the Wizards 115-109. to 109. Vin Puglio is the owner of the Big Nick Energy fan page, and he's coming here to bring some Big Nick Energy, baby. Down 19, Vin. They found a way to come back and get that W. So what are your thoughts on last night's win? Hey, Brandon, thanks for having me. Yeah, man, last night's win was was very special. Uh, I just want to say nothing was the same after Kyle Kuzma called Julius Randle too small. Uh, my man <laughs> scored 46 pieces on the Wizards last night. Uh, not only was he on fire from the three, he made seven deep ones to make up for his lackluster uh, three-point competition shooting. But the most impressive part to me was that he went seven for seven, 100% on the free throw line. That's a huge advancement for Julius Randle. Um, to throw in there, I just want to add some honorable mentions. Uh, RJ Barrett had a great fantasy basketball day. Uh, he had 14 points five, on five attempts. He had uh, three assists, two rebounds, a block, and a steal. And I also want to add IQ's defense in there. Uh, IQ's defense may have changed the game for us. The man was like a gnat last night. Perfect defense. Tom Thibodeau was probably very happy with him. I appreciate the honorable mention shout outs. Uh, J uh, Jalen Brunson only scored 13. But let's get back to the main event. Julius Randle had a career night, 46 points. The man keeps getting better and he keeps getting buckets. What's the biggest difference in his game that you've seen this year compared to others? Brandon, he said it in his uh, interview last night. Actually, it was it's um, his mentality. Um, he's he's cred his accomplishments are definitely credited to him being in the proper headspace this year. Uh, you know, last year we saw incidents with him getting into it with other players on the court. We saw him with Evan Fournier. We saw him getting into it with assistant coaches. We saw him giving the thumbs down to the team. But this man has made a complete 180 for our next team. He's he's finally turning into that leader we expected and we've been waiting for him to be. And um, thanks to uh, Jalen Brunson. Handing out those assists, it's making him more open. It's just Julius Randle is everything we could have hoped for in this player right now. He's playing on top of the world. The man's been balling. All right, we talked about the honorable, honorable mentions. We talked about the main event. Now let's look ahead. Right now, they're six in the East, one and a half games ahead of Miami, and they're just one behind the fifth-place Nets. And we already know about that dumpster fire that's going on out there. But uh, with how well this team has been playing, be real realistic with this. Where do you think they'll be come playoffs and why? So I, I, I gave this one a lot of thought. Um, so there's about 10 really important rough games coming up on the schedule. Uh, the most important four of those 10 are against the Heat and the Nets. Um, the Knicks still have three games against Miami and one left against Brooklyn. So they need to go at least two and two and four of those games. <clears throat> um, they can get to the fifth seed if they go at least five and five in these tougher games. Um, if they can take care of the Blazers and the Magic and the Rockets of the world then I think we're in good shape. Uh, I expect the Knicks to go 12-9 and nine or 13-8 and eight in these last 21 games. Uh, that will more likely land them in the fifth seed and get them out of the playing conversation. Um, obviously, we know the Nets are the worst team in New York, and they have a tougher remaining schedule. And Miami's schedule isn't as tough, so they'll be right around the same area as us. Um, my expectation for the Nets is they fall out of the top six, and New York and Miami secure the five and six. Um, if it's the six, we most likely play Philly. Uh, if it's the fifth, we most likely play Cleveland. But if it were up to me, obviously, I'd want to see Donovan Mitchell in the first round for obvious reasons. Ooh, you want to see Spider Mitchell. Another great thing the Knicks are doing, they're 18 and 12 away from the Garden. That's the second best uh, road record in the NBA. So getting it, road warriors. Then, Big Nick Energy, thanks for joining us. Brandon, thank you so much.